Let's well, shift gears to regional politics. Now, our parliamentary reporter, Patrick Abimo, spoke exclusively to those elected to represent Kenya in the East African Legislative Assembly. And as he now reports, as some of them may seem new in the Assembly, but have grown up in powerful political families of strong connections to the who is who in Kenya's executive. Take a look. Kenya's bicameral parliament reserved Thursday afternoon sitting for election of members to the East African Legislative Assembly through a secret ballot. <laughs> Kenya was the only country being awaited to send their nominees to the regional parliament to kickstart its legislative agenda. The counting of votes from the 25 candidates from both Jubilee and NASA, who had been cleared for the polls, extended late into the night. The final tally was announced a few minutes after 11 p.m. Former Kamukunji MP Simon Bogwa led the Jubilee cluster with 286 votes and was followed by Florence Yamatia, who garnered 252 votes. Former Tigania East MP Mpuri Aburi was third with 208 votes and was followed by former Mandela North MP Adam Mohamed Noru, who garnered 102 votes. Former Nyandarua County Woman MP Wanjiku Mohia emerged fifth with 180 votes to complete the five slots reserved for Jubilee Party at Iala. From the NASA coalition, Kennedy Kalonzo, who is the son of NASA co-principal Kalonzo Musioka, led the pack with 309 votes. Oburu Odinga, the elder brother to NASA co-principal Raila Odinga, was second with 243 votes. Former Mbalambala MP Abdikadir Arden garnered 235 votes, while former Wajia County woman MP Fatuma Ibrahim got 142 votes to complete the four slots reserved for NASA at Iala. We do not have regional balancing. We have around three candidates from Northeastern uh, who now will go represent Kenya. And the rest are picked from areas that uh, uh, probably was a reward for either kinsmanship or a reward based on politics. We lobbied. Uh, I made sure that I actually talked to everybody, uh, persuading them actually to vote for me. 36-year-old Florence Yamatia from Baringo County was third overall and floored some candidates considered big wigs. Yes, who is Yamatia? I have been a very aggressive girl in terms of uh, pushing and understanding what I want many times politically. Uh, Yamatia again is a student of uh, political science, schooled in University of Nairobi. I've uh, done uh, all through in University of Nairobi. I also have a uh, uh, family. On the other side of my work, I have worked closely with uh, political parties. I started with uh, U UDM. I grew to URP. I was among the uh, directors there. And I consistently worked as a volunteer for probably six years, six to almost eight years. Uh, no salary, nothing. The candidates shared some of their campaign winning strategies. You know, when I was in Parliament, everybody knows me from Tabori because I was working with them. The ones, the people who are fighting to me, I, I, I get them, we sit down with them, we reconcile, then I start working with them together. Actually, uh, it was intense lobbying, and uh, we had uh, to lobby from the NASA side and uh, also the Jubilee side. Well, I worked hard to get it, but I wasn't expecting the overwhelming support. That, that was truly humbling. Uh, I worked so hard. Actually, I just consistently campaign, and uh, I appreciate the MPs so much. For the first time, all the nine Kenyan MPs to Iala will be new faces. These are people who have no institutional memory. They will have to be taken through induction, but they will not tell you everything about the protocols that have been signed and how to get more from the other country. I, I believe there will be structures, and I know there are structures. I also think uh, we will still have uh, people like staff who work there. Uh, automatically they are going to give us, an, I mean, direct us in how to conduct ourselves. I know the places I went to Rwanda, I was in Sudan for working in Sudan, I was in uh, Burundi, I was in, um, uh, in uh, Uganda and Tanzania. So I'm not a stranger in that place. The MPC say they'll hit the ground running. Any agenda to do with the youth and youth opportunities and empowerment? We need to devise a way whereby if members uh, uh, were there and there were bills which were there, we need actually to take uh, over from them. Because once a member is not elected, then uh, those bills, they become obsolete. In Kenya, we issue mirror. And the mirror in parliament, we pass it, it's a cash crop. 
in Kenya. It's like a like food. So if it is possible, you can allow the people from Meru community to 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 to, to import Meru to to to, imp to export Meru to to to, to Tanzania. Uh, I also want to look as a youth uh, to try and empower young uh, South Africans, especially Kenya, where I come from, so that you know we, we, when we remove those small. Uh, barriers here and there, we are able to let people go. And growing means exposure. Uh, people are able to travel and come back. They are able to do and invest. The fourth regional assembly will be inaugurated next week Monday in Arusha, Tanzania. Top on the agenda during the week-long first sitting is the swearing-in of members, election of the speaker, and that of members to the IALA commission and constitution of various committees. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.